Okay, Greg. Um, so the first thing I'm going to just um, show you on the SP1200, which should be similar on the SP12 uh, that you have at your place, is um, is going in and out of the various um, uh, functional modes that the, the uh, that the device um, has when after you power it up. And um, so with your SP12, um, as soon as you turn the power on the unit. Um, it, there's no, it doesn't need to boot an operating system disk um, because it, it, the operating system um, is just built into flash memory. So it just the unit just comes on up and you can start using it right away. With the SP1200 here that I'm using, technically when you, um, the, it uses a, a disk, an um, operating system disk that's right here at the bottom, which is different than the SP12. So when I first turn the unit on, it's off right now, um, it has to boot uh, the operating system into memory, which just takes a couple seconds. So I'm just going to do that right now. There might be a pop in my speakers here. Okay, actually, it's not bad. So it's booting, and you can. It says here SP1200 Rev 1.2 loading sequences. And again, you don't have to do this. Um, as soon as you turn on the SP12, um, it uh, it the operating system is just already ready to go. So this will just take like a couple more seconds. Now, um, another difference between the SP12 and the SP1200, the SP12 has samples, um, drum sounds already built into the machine, and um, the SP1200 has no samples at all, um, and this disk that I'm loading from, it not only um, loads the operating system, but it also it loads about 32 different kind of drum sounds into um, into the 32 drum banks. The SB12 only has eight sample, or sample memory banks uh, um, as opposed to the 32 and the SB1200. Um, and to just a quick overview to toggle through those, those banks of drum pads, there's a, a sample bank button here in the lower left corner. And you can see it's marked A, B, C, and D. And each of the drum pads here, starting on the left side, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one through eight. So essentially, um, four banks um, uh, of eight. Um, so there's bank A, bank B, bank C, bank D. Um, and it's the exact same between the SP1200 and the SP12. Now, the, the difference, though, again, going back to the fact that the SP1200 has 32 um, pads that you can assign a sample to, and only eight pads on the... Uh, on the SP on the SP12, the SP12 you can only assign samples to this. Uh, I believe it's the top bank, which is bank A, if uh, memory serves. So, um, so on the SP12, I'll go down here. Any of the sounds in these bottom three banks, B, C, and D, I believe I believe I have that correct, um, are all going to be pre-assigned um, drum sounds. So the the bank you're going to be using, I, I might have this I might have this confused because I can't see it in front of me. But um, I believe it's bank A that you sample into. If if I'm wrong about that and it's actually the opposite, then it's bank D. But I can't remember since I haven't had it in front of me in for a couple months. Okay, so that's one thing to note. Okay, so um, so just the first top lo the first thing I wanted to show you is just how to enter and uh, enter in and out of the different. Um, functional modes on the SP12 and SP1200, and that's essentially these um, these main buttons at the top. So there's setup, then disk, sync, and sample. The only ones we're going to be concerned with are two of them: setup and sample. And all you do to enter one of these modes is you just hit the button, and you see the little LED button lights up. And to get out of it. Um, you just hit the button again and you're out of it. And so if you're not in any of these top four modes, then, then by default you're in playback mode. Okay, so, so right now none of these are lit up, so that means um, I'm in playback mode right now. And uh, I actually have some sounds loaded in memory, so, so it's, it's playing back samples that are assigned to the pad that I, that I loaded off the disk. So, um, so the first thing... Um, Actually, I think that's pretty good for this first video. So again, if you want to go into sample mode, you just click the sample button, you see the LED lights up. If you want to get out of it and go back to playback mode, you just hit it, and, uh, and you can only be in one mode at a time. So you, it, as you see, if you hit any of the function modes, it just toggles through these. So very simple. So that, let's uh, stop there for the first video.